Good afternoon children. This is your Rhymes and Songs textbook and we will open to page number 4040. Page number 40. To begin with, let us write today's date. Today's date is One, two, twelve, slash, two. Reading it as twelfth February. Twelfth February. Now, children, this is a very interesting story. And there is so much to learn from this story also. Now, to understand the story, what happens in the story, you have to listen very attentively to me. Right? So, let's begin with this story for today. Now, children, first I will... Read out the full story, right? And then I will explain it to you word by word. And for that, you have to only listen to me very attentively, right? So let's start. One day, two cats found a piece of cake. They started fighting for the cake. A monkey saw the two cats fighting. He took the cake and made two parts of it. He said to the cats, These two parts are not equal. This one is bigger than the other. He took a bite from one piece and then from the other as if to make them equal. He went on biting from both the pieces till only two tiny bits of the cake were left. Finally, he ate the two tiny bits also. The cats did not get any cake at all. Did you understand the story? There are a few difficult words. So now listen carefully and attentively. One day, two cats found a piece of cake. One day, what happened is there were these two cats and they were playing around very happily and when they were playing they happened to find a piece of cake. Now at the same time both the cats found the piece of cake. Right? There was only one piece. Now what happened? The two 
playing cats because of the cake one piece of cake they started fighting oh oh first they were playing now they found a piece of cake so they both started fighting i want the cake the other said no i want the cake and so the fighting continued now from the place where they were fighting who was there a monkey saw the two cats fighting now from the place where these two cats were fighting there was a tree and from top of that tree a monkey was watching these two cats fighting from top of the tree when he looked down he saw the two cats fighting mm. now the monkey had a plan in his mind let's see he took the cake and made two parts of it the monkey saw the cats fighting he thought of a plan and he soon came running down the tree he picked up the piece of cake and what did he do he made two parts first it was one piece of cake he broke the cake into two parts one he held in this hand and the other in another hand and he said he said to the cats listen carefully ha huh? what the monkey said to the cats these two parts are not equal the monkey said now i have broken the cake into two parts all right but i feel that the piece in this hand is bigger and the other is smaller means they are not equal equal means same equal means same he said both these pieces are not the same one is bigger than the other he said this one is bigger than the other see this piece is bigger than the other this is small now what did he do so now see that was his plan he took a bite from one piece and then from the other now what the monkey did was to make these both pieces equal the same he took a bite from the bigger one he took one bite of the piece of cake from the bigger piece and when he was biting the cake he bit a big piece and then what happened this one became smaller and the other became bigger right first this was big the other was small but then the monkey took one bite made it small but the other one looked big and so again he said oh now this is a little bigger than the other so what did he do 
he took a bite from one piece and then from the other as if to make them equal. He went on biting from both the pieces. You saw children how smart the monkey was. He kept on biting the pieces of cake one after the other. He was pretending to make the pieces, to make both these pieces equal. But he was fooling the cats. He was saying, oh, this is a little bigger one. Let me take a bite, making it smaller. And then he used to bite the other piece. And then again this one and again this one. Finally, what happened? He went on biting from both the pieces till only two tiny bits of the cake were left. And as he was keeping on biting the cake little by little, only two tiny bits. Two tiny bits means only a small crumbs of cake were left in his hand. Not enough for the cats to eat. Understood children? He kept on eating both the pieces of cake little by little till there was no cake left in his hands. Only tiny bits means crumbs of cake. Very very small pieces of cake was left in both his hands. And what did he do at last? Finally, he ate the two tiny bits also. The cats did not get any cake at all. And finally, what happened? See, he has only a bit of cake in his hand, the monkey. And that also he ate. Those small, small, tiny bits also, he ate himself. And the cats who were fighting for that one piece of cake did not get any cake at all. They did not even get small crumbs, the tiny bits of the cake. So, they were left without any cake for them. Right? Because the monkey was very smart. He wanted the full cake. So he made up a plan to fool the cats. And so at last the full cake was eaten by the monkey alone. Now, what is the moral of the story? What do we learn from this story is moral. When two people quarrel, when two people quarrel, quarrel means to fight. See, these two cats are quarreling. They are fighting. Quarrel means to fight. When two people quarrel means when two people are fighting for one thing, the third person takes advantage of it. When two people are fighting, the third one who is far away watching comes and takes advantage. He comes and he takes advantage of the fight and he takes the thing for himself and the two people are left only fighting. Right? So when two people are 
fighting or when two people quarrel the third person takes advantage of it they fool you and they use you for their happiness so children what must we do so that the third person does not take advantage we should not fight we should never ever fight for one thing we should never ever fight but if two people like the same thing you sit down you talk you discuss about that thing and then you divide the thing for you now if there is a piece of chocolate right now you and your sister or there is one piece and you are two right you are two people now what happens is you are fighting for that one piece of chocolate i want the chocolate i want the full chocolate i want the full chocolate and you keep on fighting forgetting about that there is only one chocolate and what happens maybe your small baby brother comes sees the chocolate eats it up right and what happens you two are only fighting but your baby brother has already eaten up the chocolate understood let me tell you one more time now there is one piece of chocolate on the table you and your sister have seen that piece you both start fighting for that one piece of chocolate right you want the full chocolate your sister wants the full chocolate and you keep on fighting 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 for a long time and you forget that there is only one piece of chocolate on the table and your baby brother or baby sister slowly comes crawling sees the chocolate and also sees that you two are fighting you do not know that there is a chocolate there and what your baby brother or baby sister does takes up the chocolate and puts it in their mouth finish the chocolate is over you did not get and your sister did not get the third person the baby brother or baby sister got the chocolate understood yes so what you had to do is you both saw the chocolate you should have come near the table and said you take half i will take half and you both will get a little bit of chocolate at least a small bit of chocolate but when you fight you get nothing when you fight you get nothing somebody else gets it so whenever you like a thing sit down and divide the thing between your sisters or your friends but do not fight if you fight you do not get anything very good so the name of this story is the cats and the monkey the name of this story is the cats and the monkey right so now let's say or read this story together repeating after me the name of the story first the cats and the monkey repeat the cats and the monkey very good now when you are reading a story don't read it at one time right like one day two cats found a piece of cake 
they started fighting for the cake a monkey saw two cats fighting he took the cake and made two parts no you will fall asleep you will sleep reading the story but you say you read the story as i am reading right one day with the same sound right with the same way i am reading repeat one day two cats found a piece of cake hope you are repeating the same way very good they started fighting for the cake a monkey saw the two cats fighting he took the cake and made two parts of it he said to the cats these two parts are not equal this one is bigger than the other he took a bite from one piece and then from the other as if to make them equal he went on biting from both the pieces till only two tiny bits of the cake were left finally he ate the two tiny bits also the cats did not get any cake at all moral when two people quarrel the third person takes advantage of it very good so now you must have understood the story about the cats and the monkey they have taught us a very important thing that you should always sit and talk and discuss and divide things between your friends or your family or your sisters your brothers but do not fight if you fight you will not get anything right so now you have to 
read and learn this story so with this story of the cats and the monkey we finish our second semester the subject story we finished the portion for the second semester for the subject of story so now you will read and learn this story right and also remember to follow it remembering the moral of the story very good thank you